Hello, my name is William McCown, and my project is on feral hogs in Ohio. Uh, real quick disclaimer before I get going, there are some graphic images of dead animals, more specifically a dead hog and a dead fawn. Uh, there's not a whole lot of blood, but if you're a bit squeamish, just uh, make a note. So, why did I choose this topic? Well, I come from a background in Texas uh, as an avid hunter and someone who worked on a ranch that was completely ravaged by hogs. They destroyed everything. Uh, they would actually kill calves, um, fawns, they would cause thousands and thousands of dollars in damage, and because of that, the ranch spent just that much money, thousands and thousands, to try and eradicate them. But it didn't work. Uh, they reproduced so fast, and they just it's, it's an environmental catastrophe. They caused so much damage, not only economic, but to our environment as an invasive species. And as someone who was new to Ohio, I really wanted to figure out what they were doing up here. Uh, not only to curb hogs, but what were the hogs themselves doing to cause damage. So what I created was a little pamphlet aimed at being an informative piece uh, that the Ohio Department of Natural Resources or another environmental group could give out to the public to help inform the public. Because I feel like a lot of the public has no idea about this, and they necessarily shouldn't. It's not like hogs are roaming the streets of suburbia. Uh, so the questions this uh, focused on was, what are hogs? Uh, and what are their impacts? And how do we stop them? Uh, simple, straightforward, and educational. So, history on hogs. Feral swine or feral hogs are an invasive non-native species to Ohio. Uh, they're actually a crossbreed between the Eurasian wild boar and a domesticated swine. This crossbreed species was first introduced in the United States in 19, in 1539, excuse me, and there are now in at least 35 different states. Uh, characteristics of the hog is they are either shades of black or brown, including whites and grays. Uh, this can be speckled, um, painted, or solid colors, or even striped, especially in the case of piglets. However, piglets usually grow out of that, as many uh, young animals have different coloration than their adult counterparts. For weight, in the state of Ohio, I found out that the average hog weight was between 100 and 150 pounds, uh, there were reports of hogs that weighed more than that, but they were very rare. Hogs, when they breed, can have up to two litters per year, and in each litter, the female or sow can have anywhere from four to ten piglets, depending on its ancestral background. So, uh, just some hog biology for you. On the top right, you can see the age distribution graph. Uh, as expected, it tapers off as you get older, and like many other species, there are more females at an older age than males. Um, it was just some quick information for y'all so you could understand how it works and the percents of the total population. Um, but let's move on to actual the hog itself. So hogs have this armor plate over each side of their shoulder, um, and it's a sub-skin armor, really. It's uh, made out of this cartilage kind of material that is very hard, very thick, and uh, over time the hogs evolved this and had this because when they're fighting for females or fighting other boars for territory, uh, it was an armor from the other male's tusks. However, for eradication, eradication purposes, it's actually quite hard to shoot through this, and uh, because of that many have gone to trapping or using bigger guns to kill them. But it was just an important thing I think I should point out. Uh, in addition, their hide is a very tough hide, um, which can cause many other issues with trapping them and shooting them. And then their tusks. So hogs are dangerous. They have tusks. Every t one has a tusk. It's not like males or only females have tusks. However, the males' tusks do tend to be longer, and these tusks can get upwards of six to eight inches when fully grown, and they're a dangerous weapon. So, locations in the United States, obviously where I come from, Texas, is completely covered. Uh, California, Florida, Louisiana, kind of all over the south, it's speckled. But as you can see, it's starting to go more towards the northern area. Um, and this can be simply due to the, it being transported there on accident. However, kind of my belief is, uh, as our environment is changing, their habitat that they can live in is changing. They're slowly migrating more towards the north. This is a photo of uh, where the Ohio feral swine population is, uh, and as you can see on the right, I'm not going to list them off, but those are the counties where hogs have been reported. And then let's move on to the impacts. So the impact 
crops, agriculture, water, quality, erosion, predation, competition, and diseases. So from agriculture, the main impacts are tearing up fields and destroying crops. Hogs love soybeans. And the state of Ohio, that is the biggest impact, is simply hogs eating the soybeans, um, which is a very common crop. In addition, they also turn up the fields, which can be very expensive to fix as you have to regrade it. Uh, so it's not more or less a mini minefield. And obviously, if they're destroying crops, that's going to be expensive to the farmer. So hogs can actually destroy the water quality, especially in creeks and rivers and smaller bodies of water. Because in the summer months, what they do is they basically roll in mud like normal pigs do. And this kicks up silt, which can be deposited downstream and mess up the ecosystem. In addition, they can introduce bacteria to these regions. So erosion. So as I said, boars use their tusks to kind of dig into the ground to get up bugs and roots and stuff. And it exposes all this air to the atmosphere, which then evaporates the water from it and makes it less fertile. Uh, and by eating the root systems, the ground isn't as held tight together. And when it does rain and with strong winds, it's easier for it to be eroded. And predation and competition. Uh, so hogs are omnivores and will literally eat anything. They've been known to eat big calves, fawns, uh, eggs, birds, invertebrates, acorns. Uh, and for competition, they also take up shelter. And now this is pretty big because you're introducing a species that wasn't normally there and it's upsetting the ecosystem. This is especially true with the acorns because acorns are the staple of many squirrels and deer's diets for winter months to get a lot of calories and fat before winter comes. Uh, and diseases. So there are 30 important viral and bacterial diseases that hogs have been known to spread and to have. In addition, there are 37 parasites. Uh, some examples of these are swine brucellosis and pseudorabies. And, but there are business opportunities. Uh, many companies in Texas have used helicopters, dogs to eradicate them. In addition, companies have developed special ammo to get through that shield of the hog. And as a nocturnal species, thermal scopes and night vision scopes have increased in demand in order to hunt these hogs. And that's it. Thank you so much.